Hello all, you know that we are doing Yudh Abhyas for prelims 2023. Already I did 65 topics, the most expected topics 100. So today I am going to do from 66 to 70. So this is our program Yudh Abhyas. Please do subscribe to our channel. I am doing 100 topics. In that 100 topics, already 65 topics has been completed. Today I am going to discuss from 66 to, yes, today I am going to discuss Darpan, the last topic which was there in the YouTube and the next is Google Bard. Google Bard is in the news. It is a counterpart to chart GPT. To chart GPT, it is an artificial intelligence based giving the complete descriptions on topics, chart GPT. Now, it is a counterpart to it, the Google had came up with its own version of chart GPT which is called as Google Bard. It is a large language model, computer language model known as conversational artificial intelligence like conversing how we both are talking like conversing I will be telling one I will be asking one question you will be answering I will be asking one question you will be answering that is the chart GPT. Now the Google version is Google Bard. Bard is Google's own conversational artificial intelligence chatbot and it is based on the platform called as Lambda. It is based on the platform called as Lambda based on the platform called as Lambda. We will see the differences here. Google chart GPT. I hope it is visible. Language model used here, the platform used here is Lambda. Lambda and the model which is used in the chart GPT is GPT-3. The source of information in the BARD is completely Google. But whereas in chart GPT it is data fed up to 2021. So already the data which is fed from that data only the answers will be taken for the chart GPT. Whereas from the BARD, the answers will be taken from the Google. Information cutoff is none till today. Whereas information cutoff will be 2021 for chart GPT. Why? The data is fed up to 2021. Access is limited. The access is unlimited. Why? It is already stored. So whatever is stored in it, we will be getting it. Limitations, biases of internet, biases of data. Why? Because just remember, chart GPT is already data which is filled from that we will be getting the answers is chart GPT. Google Bard, it is from the information, the data which is fed in the internet from that the data will be getting. That is a major difference between the chart GPT and the Bard, Google Bard. Chart GPT is of another company and the Bard is of Google. So today I am going to discuss about Google Bard. Bard is a Google's own conversational artificial intelligence which is based on the platform called as Lambda. The language model is Lambda. It is mainly based upon the transformer technology. What is the transformer technology? Which is capable of making predictions based on inputs. I will ask some questions. I will ask some questions. For example, why BJP lost Karnataka? So based upon predictions, it will give the information. That is called as transformation technology. So most of the questions who asked where the terms are there, where the words are used, how the BJP lost, 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 BJP, BJP. So in that way, the terms will be calculated and the predictions will be given. That particular knowledge is called as, that particular technology is called as transformation technology. So what type of language model is used here? The language model which is used here is Lambda and the technology which is used here is transformer technology. Google has also not made clear the amount of knowledge that BARD possess. For instance, with chart GPT, we know its knowledge is limited up to 2021. Whereas the knowledge of Google is whatever is filled today, whatever is updated in the Google can be retrieved through this particular BARD. So Google BARD, internet based, chat GPT, data based. Santal tribe, it is in the news, why sir? Draupadi Murmu, the president of India, the first tribal president of India and she come from the community called as Santhal. The largest tribal community in India is Bills and the second is Gons. They have their own script which is called as Old Chikki. Old Chikki is in the news, what it talks about. Old Chikki is a script of the Santhals which is derived from or which is, which is innovated from Pandit Raghunath Murmu. Pandit Raghunath Murmu is a person who had innovated this particular script for Santali language which is called as Ol Chiki, Ol Chiki. So, Santali tribes is in the news. Snapdragon satellite, Snapdragon satellites which is in the news, it mainly talks about a truly global coverage from pole to pole and can support two-way messages 
for emergency use two way messaging to satellite i can message i can get the information whether i will get the rainfall now the satellite will reply me whether any possibility of heat waves now the satellite will reply me that is called a snap dragon satellite where there is a communication will be happening between the user and the satellite is it not wonder it's a communication between a user and a satellite so if any question is there i no need to wait for any intermediate like news channel directly i can ask the satellite snap dragon and i can get the information that is called as snap dragon satellite is it not very unique i liked it two way messaging for emergency use sms testing and other messaging applications for a variety of purpose such as emergency or recreation in remote rural and offshore locations we can get the information i am not getting the map route i am not getting the petrol pump i am not getting the gas station i am not getting where the nearby tire puncher shop this all information i will be getting from snap drop as a message that is snap dragon satellite a two way messaging with the satellite is snap dragon satellite very important which come which company qualcom company introduced snap dragon satellite the world's first satellite based solution capable of supporting two way messaging for premium smartphones and beyond only this application will be present in qualcom phones and in premium smartphones where i can have a interaction with the satellite and i can get the answer that is snap dragon satellite i think you got this snap dragon satellite is recently in the news it mainly about the qualcom company whereby a two way interactive information passage or messaging between the satellite and the user mainly for the user who is having smartphones that particular satellite is called a snap dragon satellite ins wajir it's a fifth stealth scorpion class submarine scorpion class submarine what is stealth stealth means it will not come under the radar hidden no one will notice that a submarine is flowing under the sea that particular class is called as scorpion class stealth scorpion class stealth indian navy is a fifth stealth scorpion class submarine ins wajir was commissioned into the indian navy today at the naval dockyard mumbai six scorpion class submarines are being built in india by the mazadon dock ship builders limited mumbai wajir has a direction distinction of having lowest build time among all indigenously manufactured submarines till date so it's very quickly got manufactured is a indigenous submarine remember this indigenous submarine very quickly sixth in the line it is sixth but very quickly it is manufactured extremely potent platforms they have advantage stealth features means they will hide no one can identify that there is a submarine under our ship with both long range guided torpedoes as well as anti ship missiles the submarines have a state of art sonar suit and sensor suit permitting outstanding operational capabilities it will be having sonar so it will be sending the radars it will be sending the bombs with the radars first it will go if anything is coming in obstruction so something is there it will send its torpedoes torpedoes are the missiles which are going under the seas are called as torpedoes so ins wajir scorpion class stealth marburg virus disease outbreak mvd marburg what does marburg virus do to the body marburg virus is in the news out of 88% who get affected by marburg virus disease 50% will die it's very much dangerous marburg virus disease it talks about what the world health organization recently said the equatorial guinea that confirmed its first ever outbreak of marburg disease earlier known as is a rare but severe hemorrhagic fever that affects both people and non human primates non human primates means mainly like monkeys chimpanzees those will be affected man will be affected non human primates will be affected by this marburg fever disease is caused by marburg virus a genetically unique zoonotic animal born rna virus marburg and ebola virus are both the members of filoviridia family the marburg virus is transmitted to people from fruit bats and spreads among humans through human to human transmission so from bats it came all the non human primates will be affected it's a virus it came from bat the chance of death is 50% and the symptoms are like fever some inflammation swelling this all the fevers temperature will be increased these are all the marburg virus diseases so five topics i discussed today and for tomorrow i will be coming up with another thank you all the best you